Oh, that yellow streak from his eyeball. No, the phantom shot. Hey everyone, welcome to Elevate Your Power Level, where we analyze the artwork and life lessons from anime. I'm Coach Donnie, and I'm an art teacher, former animator, volleyball coach, and volleyball player. In this video, I'll be reacting to Kuroko no Basket, Season 3, Episode 11. I never thought I would actually like Kasumatsu because he just seemed like this overly hyped player that was so like kind of grinding his teeth all the time and had this intense hair. But just seeing how much he is leading his team just with sheer grit and determination and he's not going to back down. And that is something I can always respect from a fellow athlete. And now we got Kisei turning on his special ability, but can he sustain it for the entire four minutes? The storytelling of Kuroko no Basket is so good because just when you think you can predict what's going to happen, we were all thinking that he was just coming in two minutes. He comes in early and it looks like he will be able to sustain it for four minutes, but I'm still putting my money on the fact that Kagami will go into the zone and that's when they're going to win in overtime. And let's get this Kuroko party started. Ooh, Kagami. That's not even him being in the zone to be able to be that fluid and fast. like going to war. Ayupu! And just that buildup of Kisei wanting so badly to come on the court. And wanting to be there for his team. Oh, and we, when he made Kagami trip. I didn't know Akashi could be copied, but I guess everyone can be copied. Ooh, look at that, where Kuroko, kind of his hair goes out, and then the, the sweat flicks off his hair. That was a nice detail. Boom. Oh, and then he copies Kuroko's pass, the Vegeta fireball. And that's a good image just to show how fast that pass was. One, we talked about how the ball was going so fast it gave Kuroko a haircut. But it went through three defenders and it was so fast that nobody could intercept that pass. But his flame is happening with all colors. The rainbow. That determination. I think this would have been cool if he actually, if his actually his eyes disappeared, or maybe if his eyes changed color. I don't know what color it would be, but maybe it would have been multicolored inside the eyes. I thought that would have been really cool. This time, join our channel memberships and be a part of an exclusive interactive community where you receive early access to all my reaction videos five days before they get released, behind the scenes content members only polls, monthly watch parties where you get to interact directly with me, and uncensored reaction videos with 100% opacity for an extra level of enjoyment. You'll also receive exclusive loyalty badges and custom emojis just for members. So click that join button below to enjoy your members only perks today. But what is Kisei doing that's allowing him to do it for more than two minutes? But there's always hope when you have Kuroko there. As well as I got the cursor on the screen. Yes. Okay, this happens in volleyball. When you're in the zone, I know that... Okay, I'm still confused. Is this Kisei's zone? Like, his ability to copy? But anyways, I'm just going to use that term. When you're in the zone, you don't want to distract that person and take them out of the zone. I think I talked about this a couple episodes ago when Kagami got into the zone. But, you know, in volleyball, when you're serving, like jump serving, and you're on fire and you're just in a flow, you're acing people, or you're serving like four or five balls in a row, which means... You're serving so tough that people can't handle it. I don't even celebrate with my team. And for me, I love celebrating with my team every time we get a point. But once the point's over, I do my own cheer, grab the ball, and I walk back to the baseline because I, I just have to, I'm so locked in that I can't let anything distract me from pulling me out of that. So this definitely reminds me of that. 
Oh, and a, a rare smile from Kasumatsu. You guys notice that? The other teammate is looking, and then when he's talking in his head, his eyebrows go. Really cool detail to not forget that even when someone's talking to themselves, they have some visual expressions. See how the eyebrows come like that? Yeah, even the coach nodded his head as he's thinking inside his head. Oh, now it's leader versus leader. This music is so eerie, it's almost like a like a horror movie. Oh, even Kagami had some doubt. Oh, intercepted by Kuroko. What happened there? Oh, okay. Th okay, to see Kuroko look this athletic kind of looks awkward, but this is a great pose here. Oh, he barely tips it. Gears. Yeah, how are they gonna stop it? With Kuroko in his face. That distracted that distracted Kisei for a moment. Maybe just to confuse him a little bit. Kuroko's gonna do something different. Yep. Oh, <laughs> combining the eagle spear from somebody else. Damn, it takes three people to stop Kisei. That's cool. Yeah, so Tetsu forcing him to go to another side so that Kisei is gonna guard one side, which means he's leaving the other side open. Mm, yeah, you want the ball to be mid dribble to steal it. Oh, he's gonna throw. Oh, what? Yeah, he did that cyclone. Kagami with the, with the yell. Oh no, but Kisei still beats him to the dunk. Oh, Kagami's on the ground. Yes, those eyes. Those eyes. Wow, when have you ever seen fear in Kuroko's eyes? Look at Kuroko. I don't think I've ever seen him look this scared or Kagami to look this worried. Is there another problem coming up? Come on, Kagami, get into the zone already. Uh oh, now the crowd's starting to cheer for Kaijo. That's when you know it's bad. And they're starting to make simple st mistakes here. Yeah, 
They're in their heads now. Wow, look at that animation here. As he's running, see how he shifts his body weight as he's running and he does a side pass? That's really good. Oh, that yellow streak from his eyeball. No, the phantom shot. Or is it the phantom shot? Oh, he does do it. He does everything. So he does it without misdirection, like just straight up. So he's combining techniques now. Gotta read this again. He says quick shot flew out of his field of vision. So he's looking forward, but he's able to shoot without looking. Is that what he's saying? Okay, two minutes, seven points, not terrible. Am I pronouncing the name wrong? Kaijo? Have I been pronouncing it Kaijo versus Kaijo? <laughs> I wonder if tapping him on the head will take him out of his zone. <laughs> Well, people got to cheer for the underdog. And his eagle eye work. Yeah, man, that's that's hard to, to break free when you feel like the momentum is just when you're already feeling the momentum and then the fan is cheering against you and then you feel the pressure to, to maintain that lead. Okay, at least he gets an open shot there without being contested. Oh, but everyone's so out of rhythm for a while. <laughs> They're even saying, frustrated that it's not Kaijo's possession. That's a good scene with the hand clenching. No, when you got that much... Yeah, too many mistakes. The team is unfocused. Quick timeouts are okay. Yeah, you gotta stop the bleeding now. It's a good choice, coach. There goes another one. <laughs> Look at Kagami coming. He's like, I don't know why he's, he's running like a caveman. Watch. <laughs> he's like running his butt off. I love that Kagami just tries harder and harder. Oh, that was a cool scene where he kind of gets face to face here. That's cool. But someone else is going to come and save him. Oh, but it does. I love that Kagabi never gives up. And the scream. Charged up by the audience. Yes, he does it. Even if he pushes, just the fact that he didn't give up. That yell from Kagami. Oh, he apologized. I gotta watch that scene again. Just that intensity. That's that yell again when, when Asahi yells Suga. Just that, ah, so deep in his soul.
I wonder how many takes they took for him to yell that long. And what a good man, he apologizes. No, it's okay. Even if you cause a foul, just showing the team that you're not willing to give up by being aggressive and staying aggressive. He's desperate. He also doesn't want to lose. Okay, even as he's talking, uh, the, the strand of hair on the other eye is moving. Really cool detail. Oh, sweat dropping off of that. What an inspiration. We decide. We decide how the story goes. I really like Kagami's voice. <laughs> oh, that's such a funny image. <laughs> Even Kuroko called him lame. <laughs> He's being mocked by everybody. This is going to loosen everyone up to play well. Maybe this is a good thing. They don't need a timeout. They just need to relax. Sometimes a silly moment is what everyone needs on the court. That's very real, by the way. <laughs> His lame line. Ooh, okay, how do they stop it? Wait, I thought Kisei was supposed to shoot two three throws. That's all you need. Just tell me those three words, but it's possible. To me, that inspires me enough as an athlete. Yeah, combining abilities is pretty crazy. Maybe they can force him to predictably do a move and focus on stopping each copy at a time. Kashi knew that the whole time, of course, the mastermind. And look at how one of the teammates from Rakuzan is listening intently to the conversation and watching the game. Really cool detail, that's, that's what great athletes do. They are enamored by great competition. This would be cool, being able to stop each. Yep. We're going to learn a little deeper about Kuroko's ability. Oh, so Kuroko is going to be the one in charge of predicting which copy. Mm. 
Fascinating. This is fascinating though. I don't I mean two I think maybe three minutes to observe more time. But two minutes to be able to predict. It's a lot of fist clenching and hand gestures in this episode to show the intensity more than just the eyes and the facial expressions. That's a cool view with the photographer's blurred. <laughs> Maybe buy more time, don't let the ball get stolen. Yes, tell someone that one mistake could cost the game. <laughs> no pressure. Koroko. Oh, Aumine is right next to him, the spirit. So he's trying to re elicit each person and what brings out which player at which time. seconds left oh but passing back to him yeah you don't want the ball to be be in the air too long you need to score more more frequently Self alley oop. Oh, does he already caught up? Kuroko, save it. Is he going to do a falling punch pass? Oh, Hyuga, yes, just not giving up. Yes. Just wipe it off, that's right. Just don't wipe it on your jersey, otherwise you might not be able to play back on the court. Man, Mirasaki body eats very slowly. It's like almost an hour and he's still working on the same bag of chips. Oh, okay, at least people are starting to cheer for Satan again. I feel like Satan hasn't even made any points. If it's, if it's still 77 or not. Oh, jeez. Up by one point. It's 
So maybe Kuroko was just waiting and, and like studying just in time to predict the last, the last perfect copy. Oh, make Kisei know something's up because <laughs> Tetsu has just been staring at him the whole time. No, it's over. Dang it. This is such a unique way to try to stop Kisei. And I would have never, for me being like the meathead I am when I'm on the court, I'm just thinking, ah, you got to overpower them if they're going to be stronger than you. But to come up with such a strategy where you're going to try to predict what they're going to do, that's actually a very realistic. I think in, in terms of the anime, the perfect copy is not realistic. You know, actually, even that has some truth. I'll probably go into that some other time. But being able to imitate the opponent and use it against them is actually a real strategy. Um, and it's uh, that's just what great competitors do. They, they study and they can adapt on the fly. But to be able to predict someone's movement is a very, very important skill as a great competitor. Now, the only unrealistic part is Kuroko just studying that for a minute and a half. But in order to make the last adaptation against your opponent, you have to kind of predict and read what they're going to do. And a lot of that is studying patterns. And so that's why a lot of pro sports teams, college teams, and good high school teams watch a lot of film on the opponent is so they can study patterns and try to predict predict behavior when you can predict behavior you definitely have an edge because then you can take advantage of that and get possession of the ball but they have to score the ball once they're able to maybe steal it from Kisei let's see who's going to take the last shot